going on guys it's your boy crazy spartan here and as always before i get started off with the video i just want to say thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been offering on the channel if you guys didn't check out yesterday's upload where you know we uh went on zombies we talked about some stuff uh in regards to you know call of duty or whatever else definitely go check out that video it's on the channel i also want to say thank y'all again for 300 subscribers y'all help your boy get to 500 500 is the next goal uh, hopefully we'll get there, you know, we'll, we'll get there whenever we get there, but regardless of that, uh, we're still continuing on the Heroes of the Final Four, well, uh, now, you know, uh, it's gonna be NBA Finals, uh, here soon, but, uh, regardless of that, Draymond Green is gonna be the next guy that we're covering here in this video, uh, what what else can I say about Draymond Green, man? Um, well, three-time champ, uh, multiple-time All-Star, Defensive Player of the Year winner, likes kicking people in the nuts, and um, has a very big heart, and he shoots like he has a backpack on his back. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be... You know, going over Draymond Green here in this video. Honestly, I think this build right here can be special if you use it in the right circumstances, okay? So, to me, Draymond is a playmaker and a defender. So, we're going to be using the defense and playmaking pie chart right here, okay? He's not going to be able to shoot a lick because Draymond can't really shoot a lick. But he is a tremendous defender. He is a tremendous playmaker. So we're going to go with the half playmaking, half defending pie chart. Moving on, physical profile. I mean, to me, I, I got to go with the most speed and the most acceleration. Yeah, you could be a bully in the paint and choose this one right here or, you know, any other one. But for me, I feel like this is going to be the best pie chart right here. Now, for the finishing, close shot, drive and of uh, Drive and layup, drive and dunk, okay? Now, for the shooting, we're going to go mid-range shot, and we're going to go free throw, okay? That's really all you need there. Then we're going to go pass accuracy and ball handling. We're going to put those up right there. Then you're going to go in, uh, interior defense, blocks, the offensive rebound, the defensive rebound, hill. We're going to max out all this right here. Uh, and then we're going to put the rest on his playmaking okay so you're looking at seven finishing three shooting 14 playmaking and 22 defensive rebounding badges okay so you're looking at a total of what is that 36 plus 10 so that's 46 badges that's not bad considering the fact that you know you're going to get a guy who's really good on the defensive side of the ball and he's going to be able to play make a little bit plus he's going to get park dunks at you know, uh, this stage right here. So, that's pretty nice. Uh, moving on to the body type. Honestly, you could go uh, Bill Burley, you know, whatever. But, I prefer to go Define because Draymond, you know, he's, he's got some muscle. He, he's a pretty big guy. Uh, now, for the height, we're going to go 6'8". Because, for one, Draymond Green is actually 6'8". Like, a lot of people like to say, oh, he's 6'9", he's 6'7". I... I, I mean, I hover between 6'7", six, 6'9", six, but, you know, we're going to go 6'8", for the speed benefits on this build, and he's just going to be, you know, better off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we could stay at 6'9", and, you know, um, to me, I would rather have the speed um, over anything else. Then we're going to go 229, just so we get that acceleration back. Yeah, you're going to lose one to your interior defense, but it's not really going to make a difference. Now, for the wingspan, jack it all the way up. His shooting is not going to matter. We are going to get that defense back. Like I said, um, you know, losing out on your height, it doesn't really matter, okay? Um, at six foot eight, you're still going to be very versatile to the point to where you can defend literally four positions, okay? Hell, maybe sometimes even five positions you can defend, right? So, for me, you know, maxing out the wingspan is going to be the most logical option here. Now, for the takeover, obviously, you could go playmaker, right? 
uh, Draymond loves sitting up his teammates. Uh, you know, he loves uh, passing the ball. But for me, I feel like Rim Protector would be a really good takeover because if you get a big out there on you and you have to step up and defend him in the paint, guess what? You can do that. And you get the glass cleaning facilitator or other words like a playmaking glass cleaner is what it is, right? Shades of Draymond Green, the man himself, Scotty Barnes, and Evan Mobley, uh, two young prospects or two young uh, guys that are going to you know, do some work in there, right? Now, we're going to go test this build out. See what's up with him. You know, do his badges and everything like that. So, at a 99 overall, this is not everything, okay? This is not factoring the plus uh, four that you get, you know, when you hit 99 overall. And it doesn't factor in the plus, like, eight when you get gym rat. So, you're looking at a 90 speed. Like a 89 acceleration, uh, a 79 vert, you know? You're looking at uh, 80, 86 block. You're looking at an 82 steal. You know, you're looking at a 74 ball handling. You know, um, this guy, he, he's going to be special. He's almost, he's going to be able to get uh, contact dunks too, which that's going to be crazy for this build, okay? Hell, I might even mess around and keep this build myself. Moving on. So for the finishing badges, posterizer, uh, slithery finisher, and limitless takeoff. Those are going to be the only three badges you're going to really need for this build. Uh, for the shooting badges, honestly, man, really it doesn't matter. I mean, sniper is going to be your best bet here because, you know... All the other ones to me, I mean, you know, whatever. Now, for the playmaking badges, honestly, you're going to go unpluckable. Quick first step is another good one to have. Um, honestly, dimer is going to be another good one. Um, and then for the last one, floor general, okay? Dimer and floor general, they go hand in hand together. They help each other out. Uh, to me, like I said in one of the last... One of these videos I created, I, you know, play on the twos court. You know, back in the day, I used to play with Saya and, you know, Mike and everything like that. Dimer helped us go on win streaks all the time. Dimer will help you make uh, your teammates better. Floor General is another good badge to have. I mean, hell, if you don't want Floor General, you know what I'm saying, you could go Space Creator. Uh, you could go handles for days. You could go uh, tight handles. Really, it doesn't matter, but I prefer uh, floor general. And then, for the defense, okay, the defense on this build, right? You're going to go clamps. You're going to go chase down artists. You're going to go pogo stick, okay, for those multiple block attempts, right? Uh, you're going to go with, let me see. You could go rim protector. I mean, you know, you're going to be uh, banging down there in the paint. You're going to be, you know, trying to uh, go for those, you know, blocks and everything. You're, you're going to be uh, defending the paint or whatever. That That's going to be another uh, big badge to have. Now, you got six more upgrades. You can either go two gold. Uh, you can either go one bronze and one Hall of Fame or whatever. But uh, to me, man... I mean, it, it's pretty tough. I mean, you can go Intimidator Hall of Fame, and then you can go Rebound Chaser. Uh, you can go, you know, Pickpocket and Rebound Chaser. Really, it just depends, but, I mean, for me, man, I, I, I'm going to go Intimidator, and then I'm going to go with Rebound Chaser. For this build okay so you're looking at this draymond green build with eight hall of fame badges really special build i mean hell i might mess around and keep it myself but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video if y'all did y'all drop a like y'all subscribe make sure your notifications are turned on so that way you don't miss a video when i upload um and as always you guys y'all stay motivated stay dedicated always have that mama mentality and i'll check you guys out
in the next one. Peace out.